Good day YouTube, down the bricks here and welcome to this week's video, a show and tell tutorial on tree building. Now I've done a couple of tutorials before on tree building, I've done a pine tree and I've also done a big shade tree, but today we're doing scrawny little desert trees. So it was suggested to me from my mate Chad, from Chad's Brick Hobby, that I really should be adding some trees to the western town and reminded me of this tree building technique and I thought I would share that with you today and why I do say they are a scrawny little tree on their own yes they are but when you put them together like this they actually look quite good don't they so I think you could do something like this in a corner of a park in a city I think would look good or one or two in the front yard of a residential area in your Lego city but of course I'm going to be spreading these all out in my western town so I think that's about all the introduction we need. So let's get on to what pieces and how to build them. So the pieces we're going to use today, you do need these half axle and pin pieces. You need the number two axles in red and black. If you've got a heap of black ones, you can just use them all in black. We do have a two by two round plate, a two by two round plate with the four arms. We're using a number three Technic elbow. We're using these little cylinders and of course the tree leaf as well. And I'm just gonna use these smaller tree leaves today or I do, might mix it up and use some other ones just to show you. And we're just gonna have a look at these as well. Now these aren't necessary like these pieces but you can also use these little stalks as well. So here are the pieces to make one tree. So we have one cylinder piece, three elbows, three of the number two axles. Uh, I've got two red ones, one black one. You'll see why I use the black one. One round plate, one round plate with the arms and 10 leaf pieces. Now you can add as many leaf pieces as you want, of course, but I think a minimum of 10 is required. So we connect the half pin, half axle to the cylinder. We add an elbow, we use one of the red axles, we add another elbow, you can go any direction you want with it. And then we add another axle piece. We add the round plate with the arms and then we use the last axle piece to clip that in like so. Then we use a black axle piece, and this is a reason I use black, and then the round plate, because you still see a little bit of that black axle. If that was red, it would really stand out. And there's our tree trunk right there. Pretty ugly, isn't it? But pretty scrawny and desert-like, isn't it? So, tree pieces, the leaf pieces, I should say. Let's just add one on here one on there, one on each arm. So there's four of the leaf pieces. And then we do the same thing on the top here. We add four like so. And just to fill it out a little bit more, we can just add an extra couple of leaf pieces underneath here, just to fill it out more like a tree. So there is our tree there. And if you don't like the black showing on top, this is where you can use your little stalk piece and you can put that on there like so. And that covers that up. And then you can easily, because of the round Technic piece on the bottom, you can just simply clip it on a stud anywhere in your city or your western town, and Bob's your uncle. There's your scrawny little tree. Another option you have if you didn't want to use the stalk piece and you still want to cover up that black axle piece, you can just put another tree piece, tree leaf straight over the top of it and help hide it that way. Now another option to hide the top of it, and I think this time we can even just use a red axle piece and we put that in we add our round plate 
and this requires you to have more plant pieces. We put our four plant pieces on like so, and then we put another round plate on top, and that will actually lock those leaf pieces on like so, and that covers up. You don't really see the red unless you're looking, actually that's not quite clipped on. It can be a little bit tricky, there we go. If you look right down inside, you can see it, but you're not really gonna do that, are you? And then we can add our extra plant pieces on top, like so. Oh. And uh, like that. And one more, like that. So that's another way of doing it as well. And it thickens the top of the tree up a bit. And just for fun, I'm gonna build one now just with this different colored leaf piece in the large size. So again, we add our pin, axle piece, elbow, another axle piece, plate with arms, another axle, another elbow piece, I should say. And one more on the top with our plate. And now let's try these bigger leaves. Actually, I might put all four on top like this. Yeah, I think that's the go. Four on top, like so. And these bottom ones, I'll just join on like that over two arms. Not sure if you can really see what I'm doing there, so let me get a better angle. So you've got the two arms there, and we can just add it, the leaf across two pieces of that. So it actually joins across the two, like so. And there's another style. Okay, well there you have the technique in a nutshell. Now, of course with trees, you change them up a little bit. Don't make them all exactly the same. Put some extra leaves on one, less on another. Make one higher, one shorter. Change the tops a little bit. Just mix it up a little bit so they all look a little bit different and then they will blend in much better together. So I hope you did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. If you want to see more, more Lego, tons of Lego, heaps of Lego, more Lego on the way, you've got to subscribe to Down Under Bricks. But a big thank you for taking the time to watch, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.